Welcome back, thanks for joining us for another episode. This week we modify our bow rollers. I'm gonna unbolt this whole fitting and work on it downstairs. Let's get into it. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right, here are the, the kidlets. Being good kids and into boatway today. These are our chain plates and they are so there's making sure the chain plates aren't leaking. This one in particular was leaking in Taj's room, so they're going to lift those up like Taj is doing with the chisel thing. And then cleaning all the old silicon and then well it's not silicon. 4200 and then re-sticking it down with 4200. Okay Taj and Bella have been around to all of the staunchions chain plates. <laughs> what are they? Like chain, the yet. chain plates. Yeah. They've been around to all the chain plates. How many are there? There's about 12 and they've cleaned them all up and they are now all ready to be 4200. 4200? Yeah. 4,200 people. It's not silicon, by the way, <laughs> for all of those who think it's silicon. It's 4,200. And it's not 5,200, because 5,200 is permanent. And if you ever want to check these and replace them, it's going to be bloody hard to get it out. So that is why we use 4,200. It's just as strong, but not as permanent. That's for all you people out there. Oh, Bella can't. quite often calls it silicon, and everyone oh. goes, oh, why are you using silicon? But it's she just means this stuff. Yeah. It's about to go on, and that will mean that all of these parts where they are reaching into the deck will be watertight because some of them were leaking. All right so what our concern is here is that this is obviously core and in around here is just the core and they're relying on the 4200 or whatever sealant. I think they may have even used butyl which is is probably fine but until we do the rigging we'll remove the chain plates when we do do that and we'll epoxy your second epoxy in around there so even if it does leak uh, they'll be fine. So this is just a temporary cleanup. we've just done this until we remove the rigging and chain plates for a proper job we just want to keep the water out. So Taj and I both did a side each uh, let's hear it from dad himself who did a better job? Um, I did yes and um you could hold that for me though got it? I could did all the work and cleaned it and yet I don't get a silicon. You don't get to do... Why aren't you doing the fun part? Because he's like the tongue in the Don't worry, he'll make you wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like touching it. Film them all because this is pretty much what they're doing. There's ten of them. It's another job, but out of the way. I don't even know if this job was on our list, but we keep adding jobs onto the list because this one was leaking in Tasha's room and we are heading towards Panama and it does get quite rainy there so we want to try and seal up all the leaks because we know what it's like to have a leaky boat. We had a very very leaky boat in wet season in Indonesia once <laughs> so if we can avoid that we definitely will try. What we're doing today is we're up the front of the boat and we're where the the chain rolls over the front here on the bow rollers is not quite the way we want it. You can see the front of the bow rollers have actually bent out which allows the chain to slip off the roller and wedge itself in the corner of the bow roller plus it actually can slide off the whole unit. So I'm going to do a slight modification. The actual bow rollers are too close together for starters which I'll show you back here. So as you can see here, the chain is coming out here. I'll exaggerate it. It's coming out like this. So it's actually putting a load that way and then it wants to pull itself off the front. So we're going to try and move the actual whole roller out either side. And that's going to be the plan. So I'm going to dump all this chain on the ground. We're going to do a test fit with, the, with our big anchor and see how that works. I'm going to have to get into this today, remove this whole section, pull off, work out where I want them and uh, do a little bit of welding with Gary because I do want this part right. It's always under big loads. 
I wouldn't mind just a little bit of professional help with this one. So I've got all the gear and uh, we've got Gary, so we should be right. It's more so the work in prepping this, cutting it, working out how it's all gonna sit as opposed to the welding. The welding shouldn't take long. It's more so uh, just getting it all worked out and prepped. So I'm gonna unbolt this whole fitting and work on it downstairs. The main concern is exaggerated, our chain is pulling off on an angle. So we're gonna take these and spread them apart. And also this is so far out on the, on the um, bow that it gets a lot of bounce and a lot of stress over the whole lot. So we're gonna try and shrink it down a little bit, spread it out a bit, tidy it all up, fix all these while we're gonna cut through. They're all cracked the welds anyway. I'll pretty much cut this in half and we'll run a bar over the front and put some sides on it so that the chain can't jump out of the out of the track. So we'll draw a few lines on there, mark it all out, start cutting, and then I'll tack it all together and we'll have a look at it and see how it how it's all going. Let's go see what he's up to. Ready for your mud water bag? Oh, morning there. I was a little bit uh, late today, but uh, there's a reason behind that. I usually have a mud water first, but I thought I'd get into work, and if I do, Sarah, make me one. And there it is, it magically come down. But let me tell you what I'm doing, guys, is I've just given this a little clean up now, cleaning the wells, just tidying it up a little bit with some stainless cleaner before I cut and buff and weld and do all that sort of fun stuff. Bow rollers, which isn't ideal, and then if the anchor was to be out to the either way a little bit as soon as you put pulling load on it wanted to let the chain slip off or bend the rollers as you can see over the years the actual it's all been bent and for us it causes it all to jam up and it's just not safe if it's to come off we're going to actually remove about this much here and get rid of all that bent stuff and probably drop the pin a little bit lower and keep it near the corner so it'll be nice and strong that's the project guys. I, I am going to polish all this but this is just a little bit of um, stainless cleaner so a bit of mild acid. Just going to clean this up a little bit. This is the before what it looked like. Strength, grace, flexibility. So he's just taking his time because if he grinds in the one spot too long, it heats up. So he's just doing little bits and moving around. This is the first part. We've removed this. 
Got to clean all this back up, separate this, spread it like I spoke about earlier. Now this is the first part of the job. We'll clean up all this where I've cut it off and we'll get ready to reinstall it. Like I said, it was sitting out here originally and we're going to bring it back to like here and we're going to spread it. Cut these down obviously so they fit here. We should be looking pretty bloody good. So Bella's job today is cleaning off that rusty spot on the bow there at the front. That's where the uh, bow bar thing that Lee's working on was sitting. One on either side, she's just cleaning that off. That's her job this morning. I am Lee's assistant today, which means I just run and get all the things that he needs. And Taj has made breakfast for everybody. We are all hands on deck. I am camera woman slash go get everything he needs person. <laughs> and go get whatever anyone needs. So I go between everybody. But Taj is inside making breakfast. Lee is thinking. Using his brain. Making sure he doesn't stuff it up. Often get to use the old <laughs> How'd you go at maths at school? Top of the class. Top of the class. He's a perfectionist, this one. So he measures a hundred times, so he can only cut once. That's the saying, right? Measure twice, cut once. Well, I'm just doing a little uh, measure up here. Got my holes sorted for where my new pins will go. All this is all bent and a little bit how are you going, so I'm going to shrink it all back like I wanted to. I've just pretty much followed what was there. I was going to drop it down a little bit, but if I did, it would have not so much of a piece under here, so I'm going to stick with how this was built. just means my wheel is going to be a little bit higher here, so if the chain was to slip up, but we are going to put that bar across, so that should take care of that. I'm going to start cutting this out in a minute. Bloody beautiful, honey. Bloody beautiful. So, it's not ideal. We did have a bit more of a lip here to stop the chain from running out. But we are bringing it back shorter. So, we haven't got so much of a, a lip here now. So we're going to put a bar up over the top of this. On both sides. And that's going to stop the chain from coming out there. And that's going to come up to about here somewhere. And then we're going to come across both of them and down again. And a little bit of reinforcing in between. So a little bit of filling around to do. I'll probably only get, I would say it'll cut out and sort of maybe hopefully all tacked together today. But I think it'll, I'll be pushing it, get it all welded up. I just sort of, I cut it all and I've still got to polish everything. I want to get it all as clean as possible and then acetone it all before we weld up top. So. That's it, I'll keep cutting.
Good morning, everybody. Um, it's another beautiful morning here in Porto Penasco. Boatyard's a little bit quiet this morning. It's uh, Saturday morning and there's usually not a lot of action. We had a piece of plate that we found up the front of the boat, which has been cut in half, like so. And I've just run a few grits of sandpaper over it. Nothing, I haven't gone crazy with it, but just enough to give it a bit of a shine and blend in with the rest of the boat. Uh, that's going to come across here, and that's going to come across and down, and then our chain won't be able to slide out. This is day two of playing around with it. Yesterday I managed to cut everything. These are our old bent out. I didn't really want to do anything with these, but they did have a bit more height. So hence why we're going to add this roll bar over the top of that. Now we've got an even spread once they're both on there that meets the line of the gypsy wheel. So I think it's going to work really good. So today I just got to polish all this up, get it all clean, get all my weld areas prepped and bend those two bars and then look at uh, doing the welding and then we can put it back on. Like Bella says, one job done, 100 more to go. After Lead made it all nice and shiny, he pulled the pieces together and the next step was to bend and make the bars to go on top of the bow rollers. But for now, this is where we're up to. So the anchor locker on our boat, which holds all of the chain, is technically in my room. It's like my room, a door into the anchor locker. And it's pretty gross in there. It has like two layers of this old paint, all muddy and gross. We just got our chain rear galvanized and we're going to put it back in the locker. But I was like, whoa, before we put it back in, we have to repaint it. No one wanted to do this job. Dad didn't even really want me to do it because it doesn't, it's not important to get back in the water. But it's in my room, it's mouldy and I just want it freshly painted. Today, I'm starting the process of redoing our anchor locker. And well, the first step, I cleared out all my things from my room set up this lovely plastic thing so dust doesn't go all the way through the boat, set the vacuum up and then I just got to sand and tilt all the way back to the fiberglass, nice and fresh for a new coat of paint. So join us next time so you can see the progression on the anchor locker and also the welding of the bow rollers. Some very exciting stuff coming up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.